Here's a thick culture of heterosigma akashiwo seen on a Sedgwick rafter slide. This allows us to see the characteristic swimming pattern of heterosigma, which pivots on its axis as it swims forward. This is in contrast to a lot of other species of phytoplankton, which swim in a spiral pattern, going around in a circle as they go forward. We can use the rafter slide too to judge the size of the cells, where we compare the size of the plankton to the borders in between the squares and the slide. In this case, we're focused away from the bottom of the rafter slide, so the borders look larger than they do usually. But we usually see heterosigma to be a fifth to half of the size of the borders between the squares. If we look at the heterosigma in higher magnification, we can see the chloroplasts around the edge of the cells and the paler nucleus in the center. This heterosigma also has two flagella that come from the side of the cell. And that's what pushes them forward, but we can't really see those in live samples as they're moving all the time. Chatinella is in the same group as Heterosigma. This is a sample of a Chatinella subsalsa culture, also seen on the rafter slide. Here we can see their more spiral swimming pattern and the size of the cells, which are larger than Heterosigma. Here we can see they're almost half or more than half of the size of the borders between the squares on the rafter slide. In higher magnification, again, we see that they have a lot more chloroplasts than heterosigma. The cells are teardrop shaped, with two flagella that in this case come from the top of the cell. If you look closely, you may see the flick of the flagella and also that they don't come directly from the top of the cell, but are inserted slightly below the top. Combining heterosigma and chatinella in one sample gives us an opportunity to compare the size and the swimming pattern. So here we can see heterosigma, smaller, flatter, and swimming in that characteristic pattern of pivoting on its axis as it goes forward, whereas the chatinella are swimming in more of a spiral, and they're larger and teardrop shaped. Notice too how they swim with the blunt end of the cell forward. 